expert perspective on the possibility of going permitless. Bree, break it down for us. Chris and Nadine here at KB Firearms and Training Facility. The owner, Beth Shu, tells me she is all about the Second Amendment. However, what is concerning to her about this bill is that the educational requirement may be taken away. Education should always be the focus when it comes to firearm safety. Beth Shute is the owner of KMB Firearm Training, located right here in Fort Myers. Under the state's constitutional care proposals, classes like hers could possibly no longer be a requirement. Owning a gun is our constitutional right. You don't just get behind the wheel of a vehicle and just start driving and know everything. You take classes or you take tests and you learn. Something she believes is vital to gun ownership. Her classes teach the fundamentals of gun safety, how to properly grip and stand in gun storage. If passed, Florida will join a growing number of states passing this law. Constitutional carry means that you do not need a license to carry a firearm on your person concealed. Former police chief and FGCU forensics professor Dr. David Thomas says what makes this proposal different is the possibility that anyone can have a gun which can lead to more accidents. The one thing that the permit requires is that people are trained, um, that they get some form of firearms handling and they understand Florida state statute. In a statement, the National Rifle Association joined Florida House Speaker Paul Renner as the bill was announced, saying in part, despite claims from some critics, the bill does not allow felons or anyone else prohibited under the state or federal law from possessing a firearm to own or carry one. While Shute supports everyone's Second Amendment right, she believes education is still key. She adds that her biggest fear is that the bill will take away a different requirement leading to a potential safety hazard. I just want everybody to be safe. I just want anybody with a firearm in the home to be safe. I just want, it's just safety, safety, safety. I can't preach that enough. Now, if this bill is ever passed into law, the background checks to purchase a gun is still going to be required. Live from Fort Myers, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.